Welcome to your doom. Shut it and get up here. <laughs> Massive up the court. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Jab Jab Show. Today I'm on the floor, as you can probably see. Uh, so that means only one thing, yes, I'm reviewing a video game. And this video game today is one I wanted to do before I um, I watched World War Star Wars. Uh, uh, but, you know, alas, the schedule didn't allow me to do so. Um, so uh, I'm going to do it now, uh, all the rest of it. So today's video game is Star Fox on the uh, Super Nintendo. Yes, because it reminds me of like Star Wars when I... Well, certainly uh, later on in the uh, you know the game it reminds me of like you know well, you know playing a Star Wars game. Anyhow, we think in Star Fox isn't that the American name of it? Yes, it is. Uh, and you and I would ordinarily need a um, converter for my Super Nintendo, which I do have, but I won't need one because within this box is come on the uh, Star Wing. What the hell? What's going on? Yes, it was called Starwing in Europe because uh, there was a German company called Star Vox back in the day. Um, I don't know what they what the, what the company did, but Nintendo thought, okay, people people might get confused with Star Fox and Star Vox. Um, so to avoid any copyright infringement or something like that, you know, uh, because of the accent in Germany and whatever, they might think, okay, uh, there might be. Yeah, yeah, all that, all that kind of thing. So they decided to call it Star Wing, which is less, less, uh, you know, um, exciting. I don't know. You know, you let me know. Is is this more exciting than Star Fox? I think Star Fox is better. Anyway, so this is the uh, the uh, European well, the British cartridge. I'm not sure why I do have the uh, American box and the European cartridge. I don't know. I can't remember. I got this a long time ago. This game. Um, it could be any old story. Anyhow. So, let's put this back in. There. So, so Star Fox. It came out in 1993. Developed by Nintendo. Um, uh, come out by Nintendo. And it was uh, the first first video game on the Super Nintendo to be utilised for the uh, Super FX chip, which is, it says on there, Super FX. And what it does is basically a chip within the cartridge, uh, which uses, helps the Super Nintendo out. Give it better better capabilities on 2D and 3D and so on. It's it's evidence on the uh, you know on the game when you play it, which which we will do. Uh, you play as Fox McCloud of the Clan McCloud. Um, he's uh, it's a non rail shooter. He's uh, you know help and you know, he has to basically have to like, beat up all the, like shoot all the bad guys and all that stuff. The, the dastardly Andros and whatever you know, at the end end of the game and so forth. So with that said, yeah. Let's play the game. And there we go. Yeah, I'm okay, out yeah. Right, there we go. You can see already the graphical things going on with the uh, game. Uh, I'm aware that there's quite a bit of reflection on the screen, which is annoying me. But it's this is shot in the daytime. This video, and there's a lot of the sun coming through. I've broken one of the curtains to, you know, to see if I what I can do about the um, reflections. But I've done my best. Uh, it's just how the setup is, unfortunately. So there's lots of. Anyhow, and the screen's a bit gloomy. So there you go, starring. So I'll just pretend it's it should say Star Fox or something. So we'll press start anyway. Diddly dee. Okay. 1993 Nintendo. Okay, well after that one, you can see it gives you the the options of uh, Alright, press select, there we go. I just can control A, uh, you can see your eyes. And we'll press that one. Well, let's play, let's play the game. Well, let's be brave about this. And as you see, it gives you options of which way to go. I'll go this way. Go through an asteroid field. They'll be crazy enough to try and follow us or something. There you go, introducing uh, this introduction and what have you. 
Good luck. Good luck indeed. Right, so. Yeah. So it's all, uh, you know, going on about it here. So you see the 3D effects and uh, the, um, you know, the super effects chip all in uh, action here. And all exciting music. And that's what's, uh, what I like about the game as well. Yeah. And they're introducing all your characters, all the people you talk to on the radio. There's, uh, so there I am, I'm in an R Wing, which again is not one of the things that uh, reminded me of Star Wars, like an R Wing. Like, you know, as in terms of X-Wing and all the rest of it. So, I missed that one. So basically, the screen controls where you go, like forward, you, you can't boost and break and whatever, I'm getting weather there. So basically, he's shooting all these people, eh? he's shooting all these evil ships and that. Gets the air. So as you can see, you know, it's very different from graphically from a lot of things on the Super Nintendo at the time. Ah, got him. He's walking as well. And uh, you, can, you can boost like that and you can break. But you're kind of pretty much on rails playing it. You're beating up all these people. Got me so good, 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 Okay, so. Ah, let's get him. There we go. Learn him. So we got Slippy the Toad. We got Peppy, I think he's called. Peppy. Peppy the Hare. Falco the Hawk. And there you mates. Ah, I'm crashing. So look at where I'm going. So I like the music. I like the graphics. You know, it's very. Like I say the polygons is very. very uh, what we're we doing. I'm getting leathered here. Ah, uh, no, I'm getting leathered. I lost a lot of my wings here. But the music keeps me going. See this guy here collecting stuff. Yeah. The draw distance isn't that great, but you considering this. What it was, it was actually the first game. I don't know if I said this in my previous segment of the video. First game to utilise the uh, Super FX chip, so I guess there's a lot of um, you know testing the waters and so on with what what the Super Nintendo and the FX chip is capable of. So you got you got to give the game a bit of some concessions. Pound, pound, pound. So I've not played this in a while, but it's easy to get on the game too. Again, pound, pound, pound. So I like the camaraderie between you and the, uh, you know, you, you see mates. Ah, it's gone. On. Uh oh, enemy. Stop panicking now. There we go. Uh, it's like, as with a lot of the 80s and 90s, the shoot em ups and platform games or whatever, you've got a flashing thing on the boss to get. So it gives you an indication of what, where to hit him. Hit the, uh, the, the boss. So we'll do that then. He's uh, kind enough to show us his weak spots. Let's, let's shoot him in a bit. There we go. So you got to you got on sound early 90s. You know, this was graphically amazing. This was this showed the future. This showed the future. You get leather now, got a small ship. Come on. Let's see. Ah, he's hitting me. Ah, come on. There we go, learned that bit. I do like shoot em ups, one of my favourite genres. You don't see many shoot em ups, you know, traditional style shoot em ups on the uh, Bond and stuff now. It's all. But I do, I do really like these new games. One of my favourite genres from back in the day. Ah, got me! Ah, well. Oh, he had rockets and all, I should have used them all. Did I lose the camera then? You see the, uh, I'll look at the screen now, the uh, 
a lot of bright stuff happening in the top right corner of the frame. Uh, well, as I'm playing, I'm not able to uh, look at the frame, so apologies for any hilarious lights that happen during the uh, uh, video. Because uh, I've got to have one blanket basically covering the uh, bookcase behind you, because that'll it's eliminating a lot of uh, reflection. Come on, come on! Shoot this bag of polygons and we're out of here. There we go. Learning them. No way. And these things will open. Let's learn them as well. There we go. Ah, shooting me. What's going on? A little bit better now. Ah, go away. I'm getting a bit caught up with the whole thing. I'm not saying much here, but I'm, I'm, I'm focusing. I'm concentrating on the screen. Yeah, it's a lot of fun this game. <laughs> yeah. Ah, what are you doing? Right, come on. Uh, there we go. We're getting learned now. Ah oh, no, he's coming off. He's getting all furious, throwing shit at me. And yeah, I think he knew the time was got. Time was not on his side, and he just started throwing stuff. Here we go. Down, down, down. Shoot him. Please get him away. Okay. Shoot him. There we go. There we go. Blow up. You little robot guy. There we go. So at least it doesn't throw you right back to the end of the um, the start of the game, should say, start of the level. Because some games did that. And, yeah, a little bit annoying. Some, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. You know, you just you know, it depends on the game. I've got, a, I've got rockets, I keep forgetting about them. There you go, I have one of them. There you go, I'll learn them. Ah, he's throwing stuff. Yeah, he's trying to get me, look. He's trying to get me. See about that. Look at him legging it. He's scared now. He's scared, he's scared now. He's throwing stuff. He ain't getting me. Look at that, being clever. Have that. That was gonna miss. He's got a bit. You see, the top right corner. He's got his energy bar. I'm gonna learn him. My rockets now. It's me against him now. Normal. Ah! Got him. It is what I am talking about, as I say in America. There you go. Victory music. Yay! Yeah, that's what I was saying, Falco. It's actually a hawk. Why don't you call it Hawk or something? No, it's not a Falco. Yeah, that's alright. Alright, I'll do. 78%. Deal with it. See, the, the sun's creeping in on the right hand side. It does mean in that. So, let's go to the next level. The asteroid field. So it's another one, you know, obviously in Star Wars and A New Hope, they go through an asteroid field and what have you, so. Further things, further uh, reminders of, um, you know, Star Wars, what have you. Uh, actually, Empire Strikes Back, I mean, you know. There you go, go some more. Ah, what's going on? Press the button, that's what's happening. See, this as well, you know, this is a reminiscent of the early Star Wars games when obviously the graphics on here are a lot better than vector, the vector graphics from the Atari games. But this, you know, it's a lot of fun. This ah, shooting everyone, killing, getting everyone. Lots of things happening here. So again, with this level, you don't really, you don't really let you venture too far away from the. Uh, what you got? Get lost, you fiend! Shoot him! Go 
Yeah. Well, you went to too far. You ain't gonna say this. Fast and furious. This game looks ah, get leathered. Absolutely about that. So you know, even like I say, I've not, I didn't play it. I haven't played this for a while. It's easy to get into again. It's very simple, you know, game. You know, the mechanics of it, you're just, you know, doing what you're doing. Ah, shoot that. Whatever that is. Piece of cake, yeah. What about that? Piece of meat or more like. Don't know what he's all about. Wow, lots of things, you know, you got Put yourself in the mind of a oh, kid doing playing it back in '93, and this was amazing. You know, this is it's still it's still one of the landmark games, I think. You know, in terms of visual effects, graphics, and what have you, because of what was achieved. You know, Mega Drive can't do this. You know, this was one of the tricks that the Mega Drive couldn't do. Really, polygons. It's quite hilarious. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway. Let's have a go. Oh, I missed that. Okay, deal with it then, Falco. Oh, yeah, I can see him. Uh, it's cool that you can actually see you. Uh... Oh, dear. Oh, I'll just help me out, Falco, you jerk. Oh, it's been all, been all good. Been the good egg and stuff. That's what my, my thanks. Oh, weathered. Ah oh, well. Uh, yeah, it's hilarious the amount of light you know in the back. Looking at. Oh well. Uh, that's Andros and I. He's uh, getting off furious with me. So there we go. Okay, so that was Star Fox or Star Wing on the Super Nintendo. Uh, this was the first of the game in the um, you know franchise, if you will. Uh, there are more. I've got I've got Lila Wars on the 64, big box and everything because it has the uh, Rumble Pack. Uh, there's also uh, Star Fox Adventures on the, on the GameCube, which started life out as a game called Dinosaur Planet. Um, I've got a video demo of Dinosaur Planet on a VHS tape we got cover mounted on a magazine from back in the day. There's also um, a few, few for the, one for the DS, and there's also one for the uh, Wii U Star Fox game. Star Fox um, just recently come out. Okay, and there's probably going to be a few, you know, one game for the Nintendo Switch when that's released over here in March. Okay, um, there's also st Fox McCloud has been in various games. He's, he's cameoed in a few games. He's also been in all four of the uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers, uh, you know, Smash Brothers games. Um, so yeah, he's been around and also famously, if you will. Uh, there was a Star Fox 2 that was, that was going to be released on the Super Nintendo. It wasn't released. It's complete, uh, apparently, but it wasn't released for some reason. And it was leaked online, I think by a Nintendo employee uh, back in 2002. Um, it was Playable 1. Um, and people have played it and completed it and so forth. I've seen videos, you know, there's videos on YouTube about it. It, it looks pretty good. You know, same, same graphic style and all the rest. Of it. It's got a few new mechanics and graphic and uh, characters and so forth. Uh, it looks looks pretty good. And you know, apparently, if you kind of that way, kind of technically minded, you could get the ROM and put it onto a cartridge. You know, somehow, however you do it, and that's that would be the only way you'd be able to play it on a cartridge. What I'm saying is, I don't know. It's been, it, it was, a, it was not released. So it looks pretty good. Anyway, so uh, that's that's Star Fox for you. So um, yeah, gonna throw out a few fun questions. There you go. Let's throw out a few fun questions. What are your memories of of this game, Star Fox or Star Wing? If you're in, in Europe. Um, also, what what's the best? If you played quite a few of them in the franchise, what's your favourite game in the franchise? Oh, and as thirdly. Um, What's your favourite fox in a retro video game? Or that's maybe because there may not have been too many foxes, not not many I can think of. What is your favourite woodland creature in a video game, retro game? Uh, just let me know all these down below in the comment section down there. Uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends and everything. And in the words of the new Cyrus, send the word. Nine, eight, seven, 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 seven